My relationship with Musgrave Street is one of deep significance. A lot more significant than I realised until this project. Musgrave Street is the place of legends, really. It attracts a mood, an approach, a sort of fluidity, a community and a creativity. I'm so fortunate to have had the Musgrave experience. I landed in its clutches after six years of teaching homeless and living in a boarding house. I was fortunate to land with John and his son, Kiri. Given full instructions on the sweat lodge, how to load the crate onto a brazier, it was part of the, the myth and the, the energy of the place. I was introduced to the back house, the back house with its legend and its resident spirit, Johanna with five-year-old, beautiful and talented son Seamus, our musician, to Mel, who looms like Elizabeth Taylor to me. How did Musgrave Street support me to come out? Well, it was a magical community space. The idea of community, John and the house were deeply connected to Unley, to, to Goodwood, to the street. John had built relationships with Ear across the road. We experienced wonderful conversations. No TV as the centre. We gathered on the back porch over cuppa. It was a creative space. It just oozed creativity. How did Musgrave Street change who I am? I, I consider the people it attracted from the community workshop that John tells me about where young people were funded by the city and, and John and his crew do- devoted many hours of their own to building community. My drawings represent the journey, the experience from repressed country kid turned school teacher to independent artist. Like Alice drinking the magic shrinking potion, it records the impact of life in the big smoke. This arty share house in Goodwood, it's artists, art, artist collectives, musicians, curators. It was a coming out on so many levels. It's a visualization of the journeys and triumphs. Questions I ask myself, and questions I was asked. I'm standing securely in my inheritance from the Musgrave experience. 